Welcome to Magitoots. In this tutorial we will have a look at how to make a table in Adobe Illustrator. To make a table in Illustrator the first thing we need to do is to make sure to equip the rectangle tool located here in your toolbar. You can either select the rectangle tool by just clicking on it or you can also simply press M on your keyboard to equip the rectangle tool. Once the rectangle tool is equipped, make sure to click somewhere on your canvas. You can then enter the width and the height of your rectangle. The dimensions that you will enter here will then be used as the dimensions for your table. So in my case I would like to create a table that is 1000 by 1000 pixels. So I entered 1000 for the width and I also entered 1000 for the height. So as this is set I will then click on OK. Now the next step to create your table in Illustrator is to click on Object in the main menu of Adobe Illustrator and then go to Path and click on Split into Grid. We can now enter the desired number of rows and columns for our table. So in my case I would like to have 10 rows and 5 columns. Now one cool thing you can do here is you can already preview your table by making sure that the preview option here is ticked. And as you can see on the canvas now we already see how our table is going to look like. Once you are satisfied with the results to finalize your table simply click here on OK. And we now have our table on our canvas. As you can see now, in my case the table here is located in a weird spot on the canvas. So if I want to change that I can simply do that by equipping the selection tool. You can select that here in the toolbar or you can just press V on your keyboard to equip it. And once the selection tool is equipped I can then hover over the edge of my table and then move around the table on the canvas and position it somewhere else on the canvas. Another cool thing you can do now is you can still adjust the size of your table on the fly. To do so make sure to press and hold shift on your keyboard then hover over one of the edges of the keyboard and then simply drag to make the table bigger. You can then obviously again reposition your table. In my case I would like to have it in the center so I will make sure that the smart guides here will say center. I will then let go of the left mouse button and now I have my beautiful table in the center of my canvas. So why do you actually need to press and hold shift on your keyboard when making your table bigger or smaller? Well the answer is pretty simple. If you don't hold shift when resizing your table the proportions of your table will not stay the same. So let me just resize the table now without pressing shift on the keyboard and let's see what happens. As you can see if I don't press shift the proportions of the table will not be the same anymore. Well this can also be useful, you can obviously also play around with that and you can easily adjust the table like this. But whenever you would like to keep the same proportions for your table, please make sure to always press and hold shift while resizing your table. This is actually also true whenever you're working with images and photos in Illustrator. You will need to press and hold shift whenever you resize in order to make sure that the proportions of the element that you're working with stay the same. And that's it guys. This is how you make a table in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys. Bye.